Okay, so I will start by looking at the wiring, and I won't go into too much detail. You can follow. We've done enough wiring at this point. But again, remember, we've got our uh, serial parallel converter right in here. All of those um, uh, resistors in here, those are all 220 ohm resistors. And then this is my seven segment display, which is essentially seven, actually eight, if you include the decimal point. Um, LEDs and it's basically we're going to use you know this guy to control which LED turns on right and if you turn all seven on it gives you the number eight right if you just get the two on the right side you get the number one right so you're just turning on different LEDs to, to put out a, a value that makes sense to us is the whole idea behind it so go ahead and follow that wiring it's very similar to what we did previously with that serial to parallel converter Okay, where we're just controlling that number with just a couple of uh, or three inputs, right? So again, what we basically have here is we've got seven different LEDs and an eighth for the decimal point, right? A, B, C, D mapped out like this on my seven segment display. And whichever one we send high, then it turns it on. If we give it a low, it turns it off, okay? So you can use this sort of um, table to say, hey, for example, if I want eight, that was one I used. Basically, you want all of them high, right? Again, decimal point stays off for all of these examples, right? But if I turn them all on, they'll be like that, right? For example, for zero, then I just pull out the middle one, G. Turn that one off. Turn all the outside ones off, right? One, B, and C, those are just the two on the outside. Those are on. Everything else is off. So we're just basically mapping these different LEDs on or off depending on what we've got. And it's basically this eight-digit binary number one being that one's on zero being it's off okay so if we go and look at the code that we got that's the first thing we kind of do is this is creating basically uh that chart right so for digit one zero and so on right so the last number is the decimal point so that's why that's all zero here so this is zero right where just that middle one is turned off everything else is on right and then like one you've got those two on the side that are just on, right? Again, eight is a good one to realize they're all on except for the decimal point. So we're just mapping that out. And this is basically like a, an array where you know each member of the, the array corresponds to certain string of binary numbers that we're going to put in, okay? And then from that, we can go ahead, we set up our variables for our three uh, inputs that we're gonna put to the um board right your latch your clock your data we did that last time okay then we go into our void setup and basically for us it's two three and four basically let the arduino know hey these are the pins we're going to use these are the um output pins that are going to control things so two three and four of that what we do here is this is just a small little uh function that we write that basically takes in whatever digit we give it and outputs on the seven segment display what we've got, right? So we did this with the, the previous one where we basically set the latch to low, then we input our data. This is basically what we're gonna send, what we wanna turn, and then we turn it on, okay? Which is essentially what we do, okay? So this is that shift out that uh, is that built-in function that runs the thing. And what we're putting into that, again, is that, um, that's seven seg digits, right? That's what we've got up here, right? So we can throw in, you know, five or whatever number we want to put in there. This is kind of the, the main input that we're putting in. So this is a total function that will display onto that seven segment display what we've got. Our main loop is actually pretty straightforward. Basically, it's just a for loop that basically goes from zero to 10. Okay, um, actually it's counting backwards, I guess. So 10 to zero um, and basically each time it waits a second and then drops to digit one and writes to that seven display. So it starts at nine, waits a second, goes to eight, seven, and it inputs that, you know, whatever digit we've got, whatever number input we've put into that seven segment output that we write up here. At the end, it waits three seconds and then starts back over. Okay, so I can show you what's going on over here. Let me go ahead and turn on the video and you can see that it's counting backwards 
uh, right in here, right? So it's at zero. This is where it's wait for a second. Now every second it counts backwards, uh, putting in a different display each time until it gets back to zero, at which point it waits three seconds or four seconds, whatever it was, and then starts counting again. So that's how this code kind of works and how we map these LEDs to that seven segment display.